Recently I made a reaction to The Red Green Show, that classic Canadian television show and specifically it was the segment or the sketch called The Handyman's Corner. That was just genius in my, uh, in my opinion. I love the comedy, the rating, I love how they can get such whale contraptions that actually work man, it really surprised me but I really enjoyed it and in that video or in the comments a lot of people recommended other parts of the show for me to check out and we're going to check out one of them today. This is called The Word Game. The full title of this is the top 50 quips and clips from the Red Green Possum Lodge Word Game. So a lot of people asked me to check out this part. Uh, so that's what I'm doing today. So yeah, thanks for the recommendations as always and keep recommending other parts of the show or other shows. Uh, we'll check them out soon. Let's check this one out. Today's prize is from Port Asbestos Video. Good for one rental of absolutely any Madonna movie. <laughs> the rental is free, but if you want to bring it back, it'll cost you five bucks. All right, Mike, cover your ears. Okay, this is the big one. The grand prize is for a truckload of stuff we picked up at the side of the highway. <laughs> Mr. Humphrey, you have 30 seconds to get my uncle to say this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very clever. Very clever. Uh, okay, okay. When a soldier turns around and goes in the opposite direction, they call that the French. <laughs> no, no. All right, let's say you're going into the United States yes. and the customs officer knows you've got a record, okay? Yeah. So he won't let you in. He blanks your entry. I wouldn't let him anywhere near my entry. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Let's say I do something stupid. Everybody knows I did it. I go to the lodge meeting. What do I do? Blame Harold. All right, all right let's, let's forget about animals. Uh, let, let's think about women. Can you think about women? Always. Okay, okay. This is something you want. It involves a woman, and it rhymes with pond. Blonde. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Okay, no. This is something you want to do with a woman. You can't, you can't think of anything? Well, nothing. It rhymes with pawn. <laughs> Time's almost up, Brent. Time's almost up. All right, all right, all right, Buzz. On your birthday, your girlfriend brings you something in bed. You want me to say that? No. <laughs> no, no. Okay, all right. Okay, now, now think about this. There are people who can be intimate with both men and women, all right? And we say they are blank sexual. Uh. Very. <laughs> Carol, this is something you've got to have if you want to go parking on Lover's Lane. A girl. No, 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 yeah, uh, yeah. no, no. Okay, this is something you don't ever want to have an accident in. A rented tax. Okay, Mike, what do you have when you have 24 bottles of beer? Blurred vision? <laughs> Almost out of time, Mr. Green. Okay, Edgar, what do you call it when the fat, jolly guy comes down your chimney? Oh, Dad lost his key again. <laughs> Come on, Edgar. You know, if you would concentrate, we could get this. Well, if ifs and buts was candy and nuts, we'd all have a Merry Christmas. There you go! Uh, <laughs> okay, okay. If you have, like, maybe 20 guys in the Army, yeah. that's called... The Canadian military. <laughs> Does that self Canadian self-deprecation? Okay. When you were 18, this is something that the American Army had, but ours didn't. Bullets. <laughs> okay, okay. Think of the word quack and a large bill. A cosmetic surgeon. <laughs> okay, oh no, no. Th this is an animated Very character, good. real wacky. Donald Trump. Okay, no. This is something that you Ahead yell out when you're scared. It rhymes with luck. <laughs> the look of panic. <laughs> uh. I may have to disqualify myself. <laughs>
<laughs> um, I've got to just have a quick one just to say that acting... I've obviously only seen Red Green, the character, in the previous segment in Handyman's Corner, but to see these other characters, a lot of po people told me they were good, but I... They actually play the characters so well, and this is such a genius concept, man. There's, I mean, you see this? This is 50 quips. They've got so much out of this one uh, simple mech comedy mechanism, and it's all very humorous. I love it. All right, um, okay, Tom, what makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise? Well, do I look like I know? <laughs> but, 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 but you do know. Something to bed, something to rise. No, 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 no. no. Okay, okay, Charlie, if a guy makes it big, what is he? On Viagra. What do you do in a fitness center? I don't know. <laughs> no. Okay, no, okay, okay. This is something your doctor told you. He told you you need to get a little more. Oh, well, tell my wife that. <laughs> This is a family member, Mike. The man who slept with your mother. <laughs> Could you be more specific? <laughs> all right, all right, Mike. If your wife has kids, you'll be... Long gone. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Just like your... Father. There we go. Uh, okay. <laughs> Do you know oh, what a climax very good is? <laughs> I used to. You know... When a guy runs a marathon, okay, this is his favorite line. Hey, baby, I just ran a marathon. <laughs> Go! All right, uh, Dalton, this is something you have two of. No, no, okay, okay, no, all right. <laughs> okay, Mike, um, homo. <laughs> no, no, um, oh, I know, I know. This is something that rabbits do all the time. <laughs> Why don't you? Huh? We're time, Mr. Green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Dalton, we're going way back here. You and Anne Marie in high school. Let's go to the clinic. <laughs> okay, you know, this is something that a lot of men would like to exchange, but they feel they just can't. Wives? <laughs> You drive by somebody's house and it's on fire, and you think to yourself, boy, I sure hope that guy has... Another house. Like, uh, okay, you said a bunch of grass. Okay, if you have a bunch of grass, you get... Two years less a day? <laughs> Let's try this. Which beer do fat people drink? The last one. Time's almost up, Brady. Yeah, no, no, but, no, but, okay, this is peaceful, okay? You're in the forest, you're standing by a tree, and you're doing something, it rhymes with glisten. <laughs> yeah, and I can't say that on television. It's uh, almost okay, time no, to this is, uh, this is something that you feel when no one else is around. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. When I watched the first video with Handyman Corner, I, I didn't expect there to be so much like innuendos like this. The way you see Red Green, the way he is in like delivering those things that have those meanings is like it's absolute genius man your heart's pounding yeah okay you're barely touching the ground yeah, yeah. you're in fourth gear <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay don what is the point of valentine's day oh i'm with you 100 percent there red <laughs> <laughs> forgot he's playing the game okay, okay when you were born your dad came to the hospital he saw you're kind of cute and cuddly and he felt very trapped. <laughs> no, all right then, all right then, your mom, eh? Your mom, when she saw you, she realized she was really bad at math. <laughs> almost out of time, Uncle Rick. All right, all right, Mike, there's a song. I'm getting something in the morning. You're getting something in the morning. Yeah. Well, that's unusual for a married guy. <laughs> We're almost out of time, Mr. Green. Yeah, all right. Okay, Ed. Supposing you're up a ladder trying to get a raccoon off somebody's roof and it turns and snarls at you, okay? That makes you... Wet my pants. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. But what does it do to so the guy holding is... the ladder? Well, it makes, makes him pretty nervous, I'll tell you. <laughs> hey, uh, if a woman doesn't believe in wearing clothes, you would call her a... A lot! <laughs> 
<laughs> no, okay, okay, no. You don't just enjoy blowing things up. You have a something for it. A permit? Oh, really? Since when? Uh, tomorrow. <laughs> no, I, I know. This is an exotic fruit. Red, I think the politically correct term is alternate lifestyle. <laughs> okay, 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 I know. This withers in the cold weather. So does mine. <laughs> I got an idea. Um, oh, man, this is too good. Say loop uh. backwards. Loop. <laughs> okay, all right, okay, look, okay. When a man oh, and a man. woman decide to have children, their genes... End up on the floor. Okay, Harold, what's the most important uh, thing on a I car? I love this. Cup holders. No, no this, this is a performance thing. <laughs> Reclining seats? No. Okay, uh, this is another term for the bottom line. Oh, bikini wax. Uh, okay, okay. You know, a, a French woman calls this her portemonnaie, but an English woman calls it her... No, 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 no. <laughs> Touchy. Philly. Touchy Philly. Richard Simmons? Okay, all right. Let's, okay, okay, it's a restaurant. Okay, it's a restaurant. You go in the restaurant, the waitress comes over to hassle me. Oh. Mike, she's friendly. She says, Can I something you? Well, how friendly is she? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. Mike, this is something that people are afraid will happen to them in the shower. At home or in prison? <laughs> <laughs> Even Red's face is just like, what did he just say? Okay, okay, listen. What do you have when you say rats backwards? Dyslexia. <laughs> Uh, Harry Carey, Chicago Cubs. <laughs> no, I'm not the announcer. What announcer? <laughs> what do you call it when you eat raw fish? Insane. <laughs> uh, okay. A kind of bar. Open. <laughs> no, no, no. A kind of bar you don't like. Oh, cash. <laughs> <laughs> When you go to a Japanese restaurant, what do you eat? I don't go to a Japanese restaurant. Well, I know you don't, but if you did, what would you eat? Pizza. <laughs> they don't serve pizza. Oh, I'd bring it with me. They don't let you do that. That's why I don't go. <laughs> Good to see no, the no, tables no. turned up. This is a word that, that stands for what the bear leaves behind on the ground. I'm not saying that word on television. <laughs> And I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the pause. Oh, long. Yeah, the bear takes quite a long pause to make a pile that big. No, no. <laughs> you give Harold something to do. He botches it up as usual. What are the first words out of your mouth? Trust you to screw it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you just leave dynamite lying around, that would be... Oh, handy. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, all right. All right but, but let's say nut bars and lunatics get a hold of dynamite, then that would be... Texas. <laughs> no, no, this thing sucks stuff up off the floor. Oh, a dog. Oh, no. No, this, this, this sucks everything up. Dirt, lint, dust, everything. A baby? Okay. <laughs> All right. Now you got cauliflower, asparagus, spinach, that's... Punishment. <laughs> that's my fault. Uh, not you. This is something normal people drink. Oh, beer. Yeah. Uh, okay, okay. But this has no taste to it. Oh, American beer? <laughs> okay, okay, no, this is a four-letter word, okay? But it's part of another word, okay? It's something you pull out in the bedroom. <laughs> oh, my God, I can't say that! Oh, Me neither. Withdraw. There we go. Uh. this coupon for a complimentary treatment at Chang Lee's Acupuncture Palace. <laughs> Apply for an acupuncture gold card and get extra points. Mm, very good. Good way to finish. 
That was genius, man. How can... That, that shows you the real genius of this show, in my opinion. As someone who's a very... Who's new to the show. How you can take one small segment, one small idea, and make so many versions of it, but everyone consistently funny as well. And... We can talk about this being an old show, but this humour still holds up today, man. It made me laugh. I love it. Uh, I like how the jokes suited the personality of each person who was answering as well. You get to, I also get to learn about those characters and I could see their personalities in the show as well. Fantastic stuff. Tell me your memories of this. Tell me your favourite one from this. Uh, and keep recommending more from the Red Green Show. Thanks for watching.